Hello my loves, I am Ellie Frost and I help visionaries, innovators, change agents create movements through their business, through what they love to do and make complete impact and change in the world, create new ways of doing things, right? And this video is about how to trust your intuition and guidance system more, right? If you're on a spiritual path, and all of us are, we come here as souls, we incarnate as a human with a, this, you know, with a soul purpose, with a divine assignment on our life, not a random event. We have a part to play in this ecosystem of the collective whole, right? And our our truth in navigating that is how much we can trust ourselves and our true selves, which is spoken to through our intuition, which to me is our direct connection to the divine. It's God speaking to you. It's your guidance, it's your angels, it's whatever higher power you believe in, source the universe, guiding you. And so we all have intuition. We all have an ability to sense beyond our thought mind, beyond our thinking mind, right? And if you've got out of touch with yours, so the light's a bit weird, um, making my face look a bit strange or maybe my face is strange who knows um so if you've got out of touch with yours then I teach people how to get back into their bodies so they can feel and channel more right so the best program I've got for that that you can do online is probably feminine power but um I can I can talk you through that person if, if that's something you're interested in but like if we get more in our bodies get more into our awareness is really important right because your intuition will save your life will also give you life right the hardest thing when we get an intuition generally because intuition whispers it's a it's a feeling it's a nudge it's not built on logic it's not coming from the thinking mind so for hello my love i can't see who's on but say hi for most of us when we get that intuitive hit right we don't think it feels very solid. Hi Janelle, right? So we're not sure whether to follow it because the intuitive hit is very light. It's a whisper. It's a, it's a little, la la la, the universe, your angels, your guides, God is trying to talk to you. It's trying to give you a, a nudge in the right way. It's not aggressive and it's not loud like fear. Fear is urgent now, you know? Fear comes from our trauma responses, which is like, if you feel like, intuition will give you inspiration intuition inspiration inspiration like from divine Asian. like so it's like when you get an inspired idea it will feel exciting and you'll look forward to it and you might want to do it soon but it doesn't feel like you've got to do this now fear is like immediate danger impending doom and it's projected on things that are not that and that's the challenge with it. Fear is very helpful when we are in immediate danger and need to run away. But when these fears are projected because of our trauma responses into our everyday lives, where there's no immediate danger and we're going into that uh, response, not listening to this guidance system, this is an issue, right? Because any unhealed trauma is what's in the way of your potential. It's our unhealed traumas that freeze our growth right and our, and our intuition is the signpost to our potential fully expressed life growth wealth happiness abundance all of it so when we get the intuition it might not make sense most of the time it won't because the reality you've we've created in our lives is our predictable reality but our intuition is coming for from our potential reality right so it's a light whisper guiding us into our potential which means that it doesn't make sense from the current consciousness so you might get the intuition i need to leave my job and the first thing your brain will say is how am i going to pay my bills i can't do that now you're going to get in a tug of war energetically with yourself because you're going to push yourself to do the job and the logical thing and you're going to have the feeling i need to do something else so i mean has anyone been in that tug of war i've been in it in relationships i've been in it in career you know in life this energetic tug of war very unhelpful for us and keeps us in complete freeze prison of our minds and conflict with our minds because we keep trying to rationalize intellectualize figure it out coming up with the same old shit right that isn't moving us forward so the intuition is i've got to leave my job for example and the mind says 
You can't leave your job. You've got to pay your bills. You will die, basically. Falling back into your intuition means, again, going back into the truth of your body, what feels strong, what feels true. If you are to open your heart fully and surrender to what you feel inside, what's the truth of this? The truth might be still if you want to leave your job, right? So here's what to do energetically with this. It's not just to go into work and go, that's it, I quit, unless you're really strong behind that. But it's not to ignore it. If you think about in your life, if you've been through any situations, your intuition generally would have told you. But we ignore it. We've been taught this. It's not our fault. We've been taught to literally not listen to our guidance system because that would make everyone happy, free and successful on the planet. And there are some people that unfortunately don't want that for you because they like the current hierarchy. But it's not true that we have to be trapped. And it's not true that you can't be fully expressed, rich, happy, doing everything you love. But the key of it is listening to your intuition. So if you've got that intuitive hit, leave the job, right? But you're worried, how do I pay my bills? It's not to just go into work and necessarily quit, it's, but it's to honour sacred guidance system, God protection system that just came through your GPS, the intuition, straight from source. People ask me all the time because I'm a psychic channel, how can they channel? First thing you need to do is listen to your intuition. You have to open your channel. I opened my channel over many years using many different things and now I'm a brilliant psychic, but that's only... It was natural, sure, but also I honed my gift and I also chose what I... Well, it's another story. So the, the thing is, I leave you my job. Now, if you can get behind that energetically, which just means I make a full body decision, I say yes to myself, right? If you, any desire you want to get, any goal, it requires us trusting ourselves and saying yes to ourselves. If we can't be flip flopping in our energy, going, yeah, you, I, I kind of want that, but I don't. I kind of want it, but I don't. I want it, but I'm scared. We have to say yes as a decision, even if I'm scared, right? So if you say, yeah, I'm going to trust my intuition, I don't need to necessarily make logical sense of it. If your intuition is calling you somewhere, spiritually, what it means is there's something better for you. That's what it means spiritually. If your intuition is saying leave that job, even if you can't see what is ahead of that job, your intuition, your soul knows there's something better for you that you don't know about yet. Right. So if I trust my intuition, say, okay, I'm going to leave my job. I make that decision, right, then what do I do? Because for what most people, they don't do it. What they do is they've got the intuition to leave their job and then they think that means I've got to leave right now rather than make the decision. I'm leaving my job, so let me look for new jobs now. Let me think about my finances to give me some money to tide over now. If I'm leaving my job, if I trust it, then what's my next step? But most people don't do that. They get in the tug of war. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? They spend maybe years months, weeks, days, but sometimes years in this, like, I want to do it, but I can't. I want to do it, but I can't. This energetic mishap shuts down your intuition talking to you because you've had the next step. And for most of us, the biggest problem is, well, when I leave my job, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, right? But that pathway gets completely open to you the minute you say yes. So when you go, I'm leaving my job, I don't know how. I'm not saying you have to give your notice straight away, but you make the decision. I'm leaving my job. So what's my next step feel like I should look for jobs or maybe I feel like a break maybe I'll see if, what my savings are like so I can take some time out whatever it is but when you've when you've committed to that intuition then you get shown the next pieces and it all falls into place when you resist the intuition it's a choppy road because internally you're like I know I should do it but it doesn't make sense and I'm wanting something to push me and eventually guess what happens if you keep in the tug of war the universe hits you with an event it's like you're fired or, you know, your job doesn't exist. And you're like, ha, ah, how did this happen? You know, blah, blah, blah. But a lot, I'm not saying every time this happens when someone loses a job, but I'm giving you the example of what happens if you don't listen to your intuition when the whispers come and you say yes energetically. So you start taking steps so the universe can lay out the pathway for you. If you don't listen, go on for long enough, it will send you a big event. Think about it also like at any, it happens over and over again. So the best thing to do is to listen to your intuition, knowing that it's not going to make logical sense a lot of the time because it's coming from your future reality, a new potentiality where you have more money, more things, more friends. Or, you know, It's taking you to your highest good. Right. So why are we doubting it? Because we got taught to. Because we've been told that we can't trust ourselves, because there are structures in our society that prefer you trapped just in case you became fully empowered and rich and happy, then you'd be very difficult to control. Hi, Rosie. Hi, my love. So there's reasons why people have taught you not to trust yourself. 
But the thing is, if you want to be fully expressed, fully free, authentic, paid well, doing the work of your dreams, living the life of your dreams, then it requires intuitive hits. So open your channel more by coming into stillness with yourself and just feeling into things in your body. When someone says something, right, how do I feel? When you notice your reactions and trust them, rather than trying to stop yourself feeling angry or stop yourself dreaming or stop yourself imagining or where your heart wants to go your energy wants to go instead stay with it and think about what would it take what would it be like if I followed how I felt every single time my intuitive hit now I'm talking about your feeling of fear and trauma and that kind of stuff I'm talking about the whispers that come into my heart the bits that how quickly do I shut down when I think when I watch a movie or see something and think oh I'd love to do that or I'd love and how quickly do I shut down that idea rather than trust it see it as a piece of my intuition coming to me how many relationships have I got into where my intuition told me at the beginning really not to go how many situations in my life have I been in where if I listened to my intuition, I would have avoided them. I wouldn't have had to learn the lesson over and over again. Right. So our intuition is one of our most essential things. You, you know, if you're feeling unsure, then you just got to strengthen the relationship with your intuition because it's our relationship with our true selves. Right. Not our programs, not our past, not our conditioning. So if you do anything in order to if you're not feeling sure and you're confused and you feel pushed and pulled by life, the first thing to strengthen is your channel with your intuition. Hi, Carrie, I've just finished, but I'll send you a big hi and a lot of love. So have a fantastic day, guys. Lots of love. and. I'll